Because this lead is not. I gotta solve this guy now. Yes, you do. Yes. I have a question. Isn't there another way you can do it? Because I did second matrix. You can do matrices, and we're going to do that later. Oh. Easy killer. Just wait. Let's solve this guy. What would you do? Well, you know what we can do is let's go ahead and cancel the X's. Would you like to cancel the X's so yeah, I can put the go for, go for it? Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Now, if I do eight and six, one of these guys is going to have to be negative. Do you know why? Because that's forty-eight and forty-eight. I need something to cancel, but I don't want to use eight and six. Do you know why? Eight and six have a common factor. What's a common factor? So I can actually use smaller numbers here. I can use four. And negative three. You don't. You don't have to. But it makes the numbers a little bit smaller and easier to work with. So let's multiply <laughs> times four. What do you get? Four. Plus sixty y equals forty-eight. And what about the other one? Negative twenty-four x. So what happens here? So I get zero equals what? Zero. Remember that? This is a true statement, but we have to figure out what this means to us. If this is true, it's not no solution, but it means what? One of the all real numbers. And it's, well, they we can't say all real numbers because we're talking about solutions as ordered pairs. They never propagate. We have an infinite. So number of yeah. solutions, so these guys will be the same line, right? Yeah. Now, when you're doing this in my math lab, I and mean, what you see with some things in the book, is that they will ask you to write the solutions uh, <coughs> where x can be anything, where y can be anything. So you have to make sure that you write it in the correct manner. Okay? They'll say, you know, write this with x arbitrary. Okay? So here's the thing. There's an infinite number of solutions, so what works for one works for the other one, right? If I say this, with x being arbitrary, meaning it can be whatever you want it to be, I'm going to have the solution that looks like this. It's going to be x comma something based on x. So basically what you need to do is to solve one of these guys for y. Okay. If I solve this for y, that means 15y equals negative 6x plus 12. <coughs> divide by 15. And reduce this guy. This is negative 2x plus 4 all over 5. If I reduce that by a factor of 3, do you all agree? Good. Yeah, I divided everything by 3. I reduced it by 3. That means for any ordered pair that's a solution here, if you know what x is, then you know what y is, because y is going to be negative 2x plus 4 divided by 5. So this will be your, your solution set right here. Any of these guys. x can be any real number, and you plug that in, you're going to get a point. So that's what it wants? If it asks for x arbitrary, yes. x arbitrary. If it asks for what? If a x could be anything, right? So Where x is any real number. But you, and you're right. It, if I had taken this equation right here and solved for y, it would still have reduced to be negative 2x plus 4 <coughs> divided by 5. The, the ti gives me in, an intersection of 0 0.8, but 0.8 is the y-intercept. Right, because there are an infinite number of intersection yeah. points. So, so, so it picks the one that's closest to your guess, and your guess was the y-intercept. Okay. That is the closest solution to it. Gotcha. But, that, but that's incorrect. That's not. Right, because you need to understand. And you know, correct. if you do this, this is how you can tell that you do have the same well, equations. It's, well, no, it's no one solution. out of infinite yeah. number of solutions, so you have basically 0% of the answers right. Yeah, that's what I mean. That would be. If I. No, wait. 
Yeah, I want you to watch, watch this. Watch. <coughs> 12 minus 6x divided by 15. The other one is 16 <coughs> minus 8x divided by 20. Before you hit graph, though, go all the way to the right. Change this and hit it one time. So the first line will graph as a line. The second will graph as a fat line. Move your cursor all the way to the left. Hit enter and it toggles, it cycles through. Yeah. Now watch, here's the first one right here. See, this is the first line. Watch the second one come along. See how it's coming along? It's graphing the exact same thing.